In this video, we are going to learn how to install Puppet 7 on Ubuntu 18.04. So what is Puppet? Puppet is one of the popular configuration management tools. Using Puppet, you can manage configuration changes on your infrastructure. Using Puppet, you can also automate infrastructure setup as well. Okay. And in this video, we are going to learn how to install Puppet on Ubuntu 18.04. So this is my website folks, coachdevops.com and um, I will be posting the link right below the video as well. Great. So let's get started. So if you look at the pre-request, right? So where are we going to install Puppet Master? So yes, we are going to provision a new Ubuntu EC2 instance with medium instance. Okay. So we need to, we need to have at least 4 GB RAM. Okay. And then we also need to open up port 8140 as well. Okay. So that is the pre-request. All right, so let me get started here. Let me go ahead and then launch an instance. And we are going to use Ubuntu 18.04. So this is the one, select. And I need to have 4 GB RAM, perfect. And to be on launch, edit security group, I'm going to open up port 8140. Okay, and then I'm going to open the traffic for all, that's fine. Click on review on launch, launch. And I'm going to go ahead and then use my existing key. Okay, launch. Okay, so right now, all right, so our instance. Okay, and then I'm going to name this as Puppet Master. Awesome. So our instance is up and running. Let me quickly connect to it. And I'm using uh, item here. Perfect. So I'm connected to my EC2 instance. Okay. So let's get started with Puppet uh, installation. But before that, let me quickly, uh, you know, review the steps here, right? Yes, the first step is, you know, we need to edit the host file and then add uh, Puppet Master IP address over there, okay? So we need to do that. And then we are going to download Puppet, install, uh, Puppet Installable from this website, okay? So we are going to install uh, the latest version of Puppet, which is 7. So we are going to download that, okay? At this time of, uh, you know, recording this video. So the latest version is 7, I'm sure. I know it may change over the period of time, okay? And uh, we are going to download the uh, package and then we are going to install that Debian package, right? And then we are going to update and then finally we are going to install the Puppet uh, master server. And then we are going to start the Puppet master server, right? And then this is going to show us that. And then, you know, we are going to see the version, right? So this is the command which is going to show you what version, you know, we are installing, okay? And then there are few commands we are going to execute that just to add uh, you know puppet to the path okay and then this particular step is for verifying the version okay and then once we install puppet master our goal is to provision uh, you know our goal is to provision any resources in uh, aws cloud right for that we need to down uh, we need to download a sdk core and whatnot okay so we are going to go ahead and then download these uh, you know gems right these are nothing but aws sdk gems aws sdk core and then aws sdk and i'm going to use this specific version okay and then once you download these gems we need to go ahead and then install uh, you know uh, puppet labs aws this is uh, nothing but you know aws module okay once we do that i think we should be good all right great so let's get started here Okay, so let me first uh, edit the host file. Okay, and I'm going to add a Puppet Master IP address, right? So, of course, you can add a public DNS name or you can add a private DNS name. It doesn't matter or private IP address. So, let's look at the private IP address. This is a private IP address. So, I'm going to add that over here. 
and then say puppet okay come out of it and then we are going to download puppet uh, installables okay we are going to download that and then we are going to install that because that's the debian package okay and then we are going to update that update our uh, ubuntu packages once it is updated we are going to start our puppet installation this is the command perfect and then let's make sure that puppet service is started automatically by enabling this command okay very good and then let's quickly start our puppet uh, service right a puppet server this is going to take uh, you know couple of seconds depending on uh, the size of your uh, ec2 and whatnot so this should uh, bring up the puppet server service okay and then we should be able to see that once the service is started so let me copy this command okay perfect see here now our service is up and running perfect everything is good so far okay and then yes if you want to quickly verify the version so you can go ahead and then execute this command so yeah so at the time of recording this video so this is the version right you see here 7.0.2 okay so that is the puppet version so we are good so far and then uh, let's kind of uh, execute uh, these two commands so this is nothing but See, if you go and type puppet, right, this is not available, isn't it? Uh, so what I wanted to do, I want to, if, if you actually see, right, the puppet got installed under, let me show you. Puppet got installed under this folder, right? Uh, yeah. See here? So these are some of the puppet installables and whatnot, right? So I want to add them to the path, right? So I'm going to go ahead and then execute this command. Okay, and then I want to execute this command also because uh, we are going to install uh, these gems. Okay, so I want to add them to user bin as well so that it is available for us. Okay, now you see here, you know, you know, if you go and say, if you go and say puppet version, sorry, wow, see here. So that's it, right? So we have added successfully to the path. So that is our puppet uh, master version 7.3.0. Okay. Okay. Great. So let's move on here. So yes, we are going to go ahead and then you know uh, install these uh, SDK gems, AWS SDK gems. So let's go ahead and then do it. Uh, I'm starting with uh, you know AWS SDK core. So this says that six gems got installed. That's good. And then let's go ahead and then install AWS SDK gems. Perfect. All right. And then let's install Puppet Labs. Let's install Puppet Labs AWS module, right? So we need all of these in order for Puppet to access AWS Cloud, right? Uh, you know if let's say if you want to provision any resources or if you want to access aws resources right using puppet we need to have those gems and then you know this module installed okay perfect right so that's it right now we have set up uh, puppet uh, master servers uh, successfully and then in the next video we are going to learn how to provision an ec2 instance thank you for watching